welcome to Stretch and Release with Mary Fulton. I'm an instructor trainer and I'm nutritional coach and I'm super excited to do some stretching with you today and some release. So I'm just gonna wait for my friends to join us because we are going live right now. I'm gonna also publish it so more friends can join me and see my post. So I'm super excited to work with you guys today. Stretching and foam rolling is super important. Myofascial release to keep us going. I'm gonna share this. Stretch and release. Come now. Okay, all right. Hopefully somebody's on with me now. Yay, one friend. Awesome. Okay guys, super excited to see you today. Thanks for coming out. What are you gonna need for this class? Well, just a mat, okay? We're gonna stretch out. Hopefully you guys can see me over there. And if you guys have a foam roller, great. If you don't, that's okay. Um, another thing that we might use, hi Jill, is a towel. Um, I'm gonna use this tube today for some stretching to just like pull my legs in, but if you have a towel, that works perfect, okay? Um, also, I don't have them today, but I also use those little, I can use a tennis ball for um, foam rolling or rolling out. Um, I have my foam roller today that I'll demo with you guys um, and just show you lots of little stretches that you can do, okay? And let me just get our music on. I need to find some more calming music. Um, so I'll do that next time. Um, with all these uh, loyalties and stuff, I have access to my friend Darth Nader's music. I know he's got some slow songs too. Um, but I'm just gonna put on whatever I have today. All right, team. So everyone doing good? Nice to see you out there, Venus and Connie and Stephanie, you guys are all back. So thanks for joining me again. How are you guys feeling? You guys feeling good? Where did my music go? You guys feel good after all of our workouts today? There we go. Looks okay. All right, we're gonna start off with some stretches so we can really get our bodies feeling better and stronger for every day. So we're gonna start in standing, okay? We're gonna do a little walkout inchworm, kind of like the other day, but I'm gonna play around and do some different stretches with you today as well. So we're gonna walk out, hands come here, walk out slowly, come to a plank, okay? And then we're gonna push back into a down dog. And try to push your heels down into the floor and then come back into a plank, okay? Good, let's do it again. Push back, good work. Take a deep breath in, inhale, exhale, and walk it up slowly toes or wherever you can touch, okay? Each time we do this stretch, we want to be able to get a little closer to our legs here. And then roll up and you're going to go here. You're going to push your body away just like this. So you got your forward fold here, okay? Then you're going to put your hands here and then push so your legs are straight and straighten out your body here. That's going to feel good. You feel that in the hammies? Awesome. And then roll it up slowly. Big shoulder roll. Bring it up. We're going to do that again. Put a little inchworm. Walk it out. All right. A hold here. And then we're going to push back. Stretch there. We're going to take one of your legs up. Up. And just hold. Try to keep the other leg flat to the floor. Then bring it in. Other leg, you can shoot it up if you want to bend it and then shoot it up into the ceiling. And then bring it in. And now we're gonna do a little dive bomber. So we're gonna come down, dive down, and hold. Now you can hold this on the knees or you can be on the toes. Big stretch. And pull back. How does that feel, good? Let's just do that one right there again. So you can be on your knees, it's kind of like a snake. You're gonna dive your head down and bring the body down and swoop, and then pull back. Let's do that again. So you're here, dive down. Up, hold it, and then push back. Oh, that feels lovely. So right where we're here, we're gonna stay back Okay, and reach those fingertips forward to really stretch out those shoulder blades. So take a deep breath in and exhale and 
walk those fingertips forward. Oh. I'm gonna work on your shoulders a little bit this morning, okay? And bring it through, swoop through, and hold here. A lot of you might have a lot of tension in your back, and also those shoulders from typing and just doing all the stuff you're doing. You don't realize how much you use those shoulders, other side. So we're gonna do a little release there today. I'm gonna start with that and then I'll come back to your legs, okay? Good, right now as a little test, how, how far can you come down to the floor? Are you stuck here? You don't have that flexibility yet? That's okay. Hi, Clem. Good morning. You wanna say hi to my friends? You need milk. You need milk, okay. You need milk. Milk does the body good. All right, make sure you check the date on that one, okay? Make sure you smell it. Make sure it's okay. Be so nice. Ask grandma to smell it, okay? All right, I love you. Just take it inside. <laughs> okay, but talk, oh, talk to grandma. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to do. Do you guys have a foam roller or a ball? So here's my foam roller. I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do with it. Let me also, if you have a tennis ball, do you have a tennis ball or something that's kind of soft and smushy? All right. Well, so I've got one of these as well. All right. Hi, guys. Okay, so you can also use this. Now, let me explain something. When you're using a ball, depending on the tension, um, if you have a lot of pain, say, in your shoulder, you can take it to the wall, okay? You can put it against the wall if you can't bear the pain on the floor because there's more body pressure when we're on the floor. So if it's too much, take it to the wall and just follow my directions, okay? And if it's okay, then you can just keep it on the floor, all right? So if you've got a foam roller, we're gonna work the front parts of our shoulders right now. So you're gonna come down. You're gonna use the foam roller and same thing with the ball, okay? So if I had the ball down here, I'm gonna put it in the same spot. I'm going to lay my arm on top and now I'm gonna turn my palm up, thumbs up, and now I'm just gonna start to roll on it. Okay, and we're just doing a basic roll right now. And you need to breathe for me. <laughs> you might have a lot of tension. Now, um, depending on how much body weight you put on it, it's gonna be the determination of how much you're gonna feel. And if you're super tight, then it's gonna be very painful. If you're not, then it's probably just gonna feel like a good little massage for you, okay? So go ahead and just roll it out. Want to use the ball? Try that. How's that feeling out there? Are you feeling some tension? Did you find some knots that you can work through? Good. I'm gonna breathe through those, okay? This is gonna help you so that the next time you take my CX Works class or you're doing some weightlifting or just everyday things, you're not gonna have all that tightness. And we're working through that fascia, myofascia release. That's what this is called, okay? and just work through it. A long time ago, I used to get a lot of pain in my shoulders and um, I started taking just some time for myself, just a few minutes every night and it took the pain away. Have you ever had throbbing pain at night? You know, it won't go away, foam rolling, try that. I'll show you on the ball as well if you have a ball. A lot of you probably don't have foam rollers. Oh, mama, mama, sita. This one hurts worse. <laughs> so, now with the ball, you have a little more movement. You can kind of dig into that. And really dig into those muscles that are giving you some tightness. Throw me a heart up there if you can. How you doing? just so I can make sure that there's anybody out there with me. <laughs> I see some of you guys watching. If you have a tennis ball, go grab one. Dig into those muscles. Oh. And then you can take it and put it on the back. Okay, so you can come right here and also roll through the back of that shoulder blade, okay? If you've got the same thing with the, and then you can do some lift 
Watch how I just lift my hand and I can feel it right away. And that back of that shoulder blade is super tight. Keep going. So, keep going for me. How are you doing out there? Oh good, we still got eight people in there. Grace, how is it? Anybody dying? <laughs> It's gonna help you, okay? You're gonna feel more like you have a little more flexibility and movement. It's gonna get some more blood flowing in your body, okay? Better for your circulation. So we can't just beat these muscles up, we gotta work through them too. Some tender love and care here. Woo! And you can also just lay on the ball like this. Just lay on it. I am in so much pain right now. <laughs> Breathe through it. So you want to be still, which is really hard for me. And just take a deep breath. Maybe just a hold. Keep going, guys. So if you have a specific thing that you're 
um, you know, maybe your quads or your shins or your neck. You know, just leave it in the comments and you guys are the ones that are coming here. So I'm gonna target whatever it is that you need from me. All right. Okay, keep rolling. I'm gonna switch to the ball. I'm finding that this ball is um, like gold. It's pure evil actually, palm up. With the ball, you have a little more accessibility. Remember, you can use a tennis ball. Um, can you use a baseball? You can, it's just a little rough, it's a little hard. But if you guys wanna get these balls, they're pretty cheap. You go online, these are tune-up fitness balls. They're like $15 for two, just the two little balls. But you can get the whole kit. It has all these different um, sizes of balls that, that are like, you know, you've got some that are like um, the, the pressure of a thumb or your fist or your elbow. There's one that's called the Corgis. It's this one big squishy one and it's amazing for your sternum because it's really soft. So work through this. Anyone have a lot of tension in those shoulders? Keep working through it. Good, and thanks guys for liking my fitness page and coming over here. I'll keep bringing you more stuff every day. Thanks for following. And roll into it, guys. Oh, okay, so now, Keep going there, you can. You can stay on the front as long as you want. I'm gonna switch to the back to the shoulder blade again. Cause I know that for me, I really need that. So I'm gonna put the ball right underneath me. And first I'm just gonna kinda lay and breathe. It's kind of like a shock at first. So put it right there.
of those muscles. Doing so good, guys. Bring the arm up. And then bring it up here. And you're going to feel different parts of the shoulder blade. And that tightness comes out. And all we're doing is just laying on the ball and moving our arms. Side. You're gonna find your spot. Um, and release it. Oh. oh my gosh. Was that amazing? Did you love that? Hey, do you have a foam roller? If you do, I want to show you a really beautiful stretch that you can do on the foam roller just to finish out. And if you don't, you can just do this on the floor. Lay on your back, just like I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to turn to the side. This foam roller, because it's large, feels really good. And you're just going to kind of hang over, open up the chest, bring the arms up. And again, targeting those shoulder blades, okay? And the chest, you can feel it open. Up. And we're just going to open and up. And it's just, I really like this spot here. I feel like it helps. I don't know, just kind of recenter. Open up the arms like you're doing the a snow angel. And just enjoy it. If you're on the floor with no foam roller, you can still enjoy this right here, just like a snow angel. And bring it up. Stretch it. Oh. Now let's roll off of that foam roller or wherever you are and just come seated with me really quick. How did that feel? I know I didn't target your legs so much today, but I really just wanted to focus. Look, bring the shoulder in, stretch it out. How is your shoulder? And did you know that your shoulder blades are going to impact how your neck feels too, right? So all that tension back there gets into that neck. So let's do a little bit on your neck really quick before we go. Just take those thumbs in and just give yourself a little massage right here. You deserve it. So much tension and stress. Kind of dig in right there behind, um, right into your scalp and the back of the neck. Good, a little release here. Even into your scalp. Have you ever given yourself a little scalp massage? The only massage I usually get is when I go to do my hair. <laughs> Just a little bit, squeeze in there into the neck and into the scalp. Take your thumbs back here, and right into here. And you're gonna feel so good, a little release, tension. Bring it up. Stretch it up, oh, and open it up right here. Doesn't that feel amazing? One more little stretch, just twisting gently. Bring your neck here to the side. Breathe through it, and then turn to the side slowly. And hold it. And let's go to the other side. We gotta take care of our necks. Neck health. <laughs> But you know what? A lot of people have headaches and migraines and it all stems from, you know, from your neck and from different parts of the spine. I go to the chiropractor, I really like it. It helps me. And you guys take a deep breath in. How do you feel? Take just a minute with me right now um, before we go. Tell me something that you enjoyed today or maybe um, when we were stretching a place of that you found some pain that you want to work through. Chat with me for a minute. I got some time. Let me get my water. I love chatting with people. I love you guys. Let me bring it down so I can hang out with you over here. So what you got for me? Nobody has any questions? Come on, come on. Oh, Jill said she needed shoulders. Anybody else? Come on guys, share with me. What felt good? Okay, oh you love your chiropractor, good. So Jill, tell me um, something that felt good today. Did you have some tightness in your shoulders or your back or your neck? Was that helpful? I'd like to know some feedback if it was helpful or not. 
That felt wonderful. Found some knots. Oh, good, Debbie. Awesome. So you found some knots. Hopefully you'll be feeling better. You love the tennis ball. Good. Good. Who out there didn't have any equipment? You can just be like, me, I don't have any. I can help um, send you to a site where you can get some. Um, I found, um, so they're called Tune Up Fitness, but you can find them on Amazon and you can get just the two. I can also attach it down here if you don't have a tennis ball. Um, a lot of tightness, yeah, right? How many of you guys, how about your necks? Um, that's something too that we can do. Um, if you guys want to focus on that, we can lay on the foam roller or put the balls there gently, help you with your necks. Um, you love rolling out. Oh, good, Grace, yay. What do you guys want for next time? Now I'm gonna ice it. Oh, good, get some ice going. Good. You make us nice and sore, so we need this for sure, Debbie. I know, me too. And I'm too much about like work, work hard, and then forgetting to um, uh, take some time to just release and, rest and stretch. So do you guys want something specific for the next time? Because I think next Tuesday, we'll be hitting some stretch and release again. Or on Saturday, I can't remember. Um, so if you guys want to let me know um, a body part that you want to work on, quads, glutes, I can check for you. And then just so you guys know, tomorrow is Friday, right? Tomorrow we have bar, and then we have ATC. So we're gonna get our butts kicked tomorrow. Are you guys ready for that? So for bar, we're gonna be doing um, just lots of booty. And then for ATC, how about we have an upper body day? That would be good. Oh, caps, okay. How often do we do it? Just all of my new toys, I want to make sure to use them. So Grace, you know what? If you want to foam roll every day, you can. Um, and maybe so if you don't if you don't have a lot of time, maybe you can just kind of focus on one area every day. So maybe one day you're focusing on the shoulders and shoulder blades and back, and then another day you can focus on lower body, and you can kind of break it up. But yeah, foam rolling doesn't. It's not like hit. You don't have to limit it. You can do it every day if you want to. And stretching, that's really good. Yay! Well, we'll do more of this stretching on um, next Tuesday. Um, but thank you so much for joining, you guys. Hey, would you do me a favor and just share this on your page so people can come over to my There's Something About Mary Fulton page. I'm just trying to grow it. Um, I think we've got about 600 likes on here now. It'd be great to, to double that so we got more people coming on and have more friends joining our classes. And... Um, um, yes, right, Jill, you, you're 52, but you always have pain. You know what, though, Jill? What I found is to reduce all the pain is um, the foam rolling and stretching. It will change it every day, I promise you. So um, thank you so much. Oh, and then what, you've got to go to work. I know I love you guys. Um, I got to go, too. It's so good to see you guys. Please check in with me. And if you guys want to send donations to my Venmo, that would be great. If you can't, no worries. I'm um, so happy to work out with you guys all the time. Please share my page. Love you guys. See you soon.